Where is it? 20 bucks? It is literally linked in the build command. It is right there. In fact, it's actually five cents cheaper, 19.95. And because it's good, I'll give you guys the code. Now, reminder, this doesn't give me any money. It's just 10% off for you. So don't be like, Marcy, you're being a shell. I am so not. <laughs> it is apiary5 for 5% off. I'm sorry, I think I said 10. But if you use code apiary5, it is 5% off. Oh, I do. I lied. I'm so I thought that was literally a discount. It's not. I do get money if you full disclosure. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was not intentional. I swear to God. <laughs> My bad. Alex, thanks for the 22 months. Hi, everybody. I look, I wanted to look, I'm I have so much cloud themed shit. I wanted to wear this hat so bad, but I can't make it look good for the life of me. Like, how do, how do, look, how do people make this look nice? Also, it's wool, so it's like really itchy. This is the best I can do. OMG, she's an actual cloud. I told you I was cosplaying as a cloud today. You are here with me today because we are going to be reviewing a $20 board. The people approached me, they're like, hey, we have a $20 board. I was like, okay, immediate sus face. They were like, it's hot swap. And then I, I got even more suspicious. And they were like, and it's Bluetooth for $20. I was like, oh, okay, how the f how the f So we are here today to review a $20 board. I was super suspicious. I almost turned them down because I was like, there's no way in hell you can do this for only $20 and sell it and make a profit. Like that is sketch as f But this company's actually been around for a while. They've been making keyboards for a while and they've collabed with Linus a couple of times and they've delivered on multiple products. So I took it. We're gonna be reviewing it today. It did make my eye twitch a little bit at first, but it seems like they're fairly reputable. So $20, I guess, let's see. So this is from, I have links and everything in our build command for this. This is from a brand called Nufi, and this is the TES-68. They call it um, a switch tester kit. It is a working keyboard. <laughs> I had some questions about this. This is an actual functioning keyboard. All right, so I got this in the fluorescent yellow because I don't think we've ever seen a fluorescent yellow keyboard before. Looks like it comes with stickers if you want to put those on your board. And a GK68, <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is basically a GK68 is what I'm getting here, right chat? <laughs> but for 20 bucks, which ain't bad. All right, so here it is. So it does come, I don't know if you guys can see this, another th reason why I picked this up, it comes with silicone between the aluminum plate and the PCB. Now, obviously this does have plate mount stabs. I wouldn't expect anything less uh, for the price. Like honestly, if we got anything else, I would be super surprised. Um, another thing I wanted to note, you can't really see unless you look at it from the top, but I'll like bring you guys in here. Um, it does actually have foam <laughs> underneath the hot swap sockets as well. You can only see it if you look through the post. Do you see that? Do you see that little bit of foam? It is very flimsy, not dense foam, so I'm not sure if it'll even do anything for the sound. Now, stock, it also, I don't think, comes lube. These super aren't lube. So we can lube these and everything. I do want to do something completely stock, and then we'll lube the stabilizers and do another sound test, and then we'll maybe mod it a bit, yeah? I'm surprised it has aluminum. I'm surprised it exists for $20. <laughs> so I decided we would be using KTT grapefruits for this since this is such a budget board. The switches cost more than the board. Um, but even so, I think these are like 20. Oh no, my face cam died with So other thing too is these are south facing hot swap sockets and there are no LEDs. At least it supports five pin. Yes, it does support five pin. Again, like this is a $20 board. I will not be reviewing this like it was a hundred dollar board, all right? <laughs> like that would be incredibly unfair. I will be comparing this to sixty dollar pre-builds, which like still, if this compares to sixty dollar pre-builds, I will be over the moon because it's twenty dollars. What other col color options are there? If you ask me to my build, I do have it linked. I can show you though. So we have aqua, which is very similar to like the Wookie Studios like tealy thing. Um, orange. This fluorescent yellow, which is the one I have, as you can see, it's really similar to the product photo or render. We have black, and then if you don't like the translucent, they do have the opaque, like, beach stone. And then you can also get switches included. Um, it looks like these might be a version of KTT switches. Just looking at the render, 
it's possible they're not um but at that price i would assume so which is also very excellent but and then they also have their own version of keycaps you can't plug this in right it's only bluetooth correct there there is no usb port so your PC, whatever you're using this with, must be Bluetooth compatible. That is like, so far as I can tell, the only major rub, considering this is a $20 board, right? What kind of batteries? So it comes with batteries installed. Oh no, it doesn't. It's a AAA. So again, super, super accessible. I will pop them in in just a second. Um, the dongle and where the batteries go is all under here. I don't have Bluetooth on my PC. There is a dongle. What kind of Bluetooth does it use? I'm pretty sure it says on the product page, Kenneth. So I don't know if you can tell, but there are three LEDs just right here. Um, this is actually just a diffuser. I think it's connected. Um, we'll find out more when I plug it in, but this is a little trippy. So you have a dongle here. I'll probably use this today. Um, so it's just connected to the underside and then we need two AAA batteries. I'll just grab those from behind me also. I may, may have dead batteries in there. Oh, oh, it might also help if I put the batteries in the right way. I heard that might be important. Any interference with the north facing switches? Not with these switches. Obviously that's very dependent, right? But not with this keycap switch combo. So first sound test, again, nothing is lubed or modified. This is literally this thing stock with KTT grapefruits, which are the cheapest switches I have on hand right now. I think they're like 20 cents a pop. Very cheap. Here is this $20 keyboard, completely stock, uh, with KTT switches and a uh, nice PBT um, Palo from uh, Canon Keys. All right. Um, we're going to do really quick a typing test with no modifiers, just so you guys know what it sounds like, and then we'll get into the, the stab modifying. All right, so here we go. So it looks like it comes pre-clipped, which is nice. I'm not going to put anything on the PCB because I don't like mushy bottom outs. I might put a thin piece of masking tape on the opening just to kind of tighten it. I don't think these aren't wobbly like at all, but what can happen sometimes is if you are like someone, actually let's, let's not tighten these at all. I think they're fine. But there is zero wobble on these are actually really nice like pipe mount stabs. Are those switches lubed? Absolutely yes, Yoke. I love y'all. I'm not doing stock switches. <laughs> Hello, I'm new to mechanical keyboards and was wondering if there was any good budget pre-built. <laughs> now just a reminder, you can get a very, I know this is quite expensive lubricant, 
we can get a very, very, very similar sounding uh, stab um, with just dielectric grease, which is like $3 for a giant fucking tube. Um, I'm only using this because I don't have dielectric and it lasts longer than dielectric. Dielectric you'll have to redo in like four years, but if you're buying a $20 build, I feel like redoing your stabs, taking the like 15 minutes it takes to redo stabs once every four years is going to be okay. <laughs> like plate mount stabs on a hot swap board are not hard to pop out. It's not like it's soldered. So dielectric is totally acceptable in this context and you don't need to use 205 uh, on the housing either. If you have it from living your switches, great, but you can do use dielectric on the housing. This is sound test take two. So the only difference between this and the OG sound test is I have lubed the stabilizers. And another real quick thing, like when I say this sounds really good, um, when I say this, you know, whatever, it's all in the context of it being a $20 board. Come for me. If you're like, this doesn't sound as good as my key colt. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> All right, so to compare against the board that we have been building, this $20 board from Nufi, um, we will now do this KBD67 Lite. This is stock. There's not really different ways you can build this. I feel like it's super comparable to this. The only major difference is that technically this has more flex. It is very, very stiff though. Like just normal typing pressure, you're not gonna get any bounce or flex. But if you press really hard, I don't know if you, you can even see it, but there's like the tiniest bit. It, it, it's effectively none. Um, and this does have a polycarbonate plate. You cannot get an aluminum plate at all. Um, so that is, those are the differences, but you'll find that the sound is going to be very, oh, and this can only have plate mount. There's no PCB mount stabs and this comes with PCB mount stabs. Um, but as sound goes, I think you'll find there's very little difference. Same switches, yeah, so I just moved these switches over to here. So same switches, same keycaps, only difference is the board and obviously the stabs. And here we go. So this is the KBD 75 um, with the switches and stuff that were in this, just so you can, you know, check them against each other. This is a hundred bucks plus about the same amount of shipping. KBD fans charges between 25 and $50 for shipping, depending, um, and this is 20. So they're super comparable in terms of pricing is like the pricing's pretty comparable. So now you can see we have the silicone pad, totally removable as well. So if you don't like it, you can eat it. That's kind of nice. And then we have the PCB and the PCB is held in with these two screws. Um, I really don't think the foam at the bottom is doing anything. Let's pull that out. So that should just fall out now. Yep. Okay. And then we have the connector to there. Yep. As we thought, is it who said that as well? There is no chip, just some caps. Well, actually there's a chip right here. And that's the Bluetooth module with the chip, okay. And then you have your LEDs here. And yeah, this is doing cool. See how there's like nothing to it? I don't think that's doing anything. That's not absorbing any sounds. 
<laughs> At best, it's keeping it from reflecting too much, but I bet it would sound just about the same without it. So yeah, you can totally remove the silicone pad if you want, that foam, put in your own foam. And because they're here uh, already, they'll work as templates to cut whatever you want of your own. Okay, well, I'm going to play around with this and mod it probably in a vid. So I'm going to keep it disassembled for now, but I feel like I gave you as in-depth a review as I possibly could for a stream. And I will see you all later. Goodbye, friends. Raindrops, star drops.